Since the beginning of time, mankind has been curious about the greater unknown and what lies outside the world we know. Could there be life anywhere else? With the advancement in technology, our basic understanding of space and the worlds that lie beyond our planet has completely shifted. In the past couple of years, NASA has discovered over 4,000 exoplanets in all shapes, sizes, orbital distances, and characteristics through its Kepler mission, giving birth to a whole new branch of study dedicated to exoplanets. One of the main reasons scientists and researchers are so taken up with these newly discovered exoplanets is to see if there really is another Earth-like planet out there, and their findings seem to suggest there could very well be. Welcome back to Tech Rumor. And in today's video, we will dive deep into all that we know about the exoplanet that is being called Earth's bigger, older cousin. If you've ever heard of the Goldilocks principle, then you know just how amazingly perfect planet Earth is. Like the fairy tale where little Goldilocks enters the home of the three bears and tastes the porridge, preferring the one that was neither hot nor cold, but just right, astronomers will often use this principle when speaking of planet Earth in that it seems to have the right ingredients that are needed for life to thrive, whether that be the right atmosphere, right temperature, right moon, orbiting the right star, and even having the right neighbors. No other planet that we know of seems to get all these ingredients right, or at least not in the right proportions. So what exactly does it take for a planet to be considered as a good candidate for sustaining life, or being considered Earth-like? Firstly, the size of the planet would have to be similar to Earth, not too big and not too small. The vast majority of stars in the universe are red dwarfs, burning through their fuel slowly and having a low mass. Though life on a planet orbiting a red dwarf is possible, it would be hard to tell since we have nothing to compare it to. Then there's the question of the biosphere, basic heavy metals, liquids, and so much more to consider before we can say a planet is comparable or Earth-like. Meet Earth 2.0 it was only over two decades ago that Michael Mayer and Dieter Quelos discovered a planet circling 51 Pegasi, the first planet orbiting a star much like our Sun outside of the solar system, which ignited an astronomical revolution. Now, thousands of exoplanets later, NASA discovered through their planet-hunting Kepler spacecraft, one seemingly stands out. An exoplanet called Kepler 452b was found orbiting a star much like the Sun, in the habitable zone. NASA confirmed that the exoplanet is 60% larger than the Earth's diameter, and it is considered to be a super-Earth-sized planet. Previous research indicates that planets of this size usually have a good chance of being rocky. Though we don't know if there's any life on Kepler 452b yet, the similarities it shares with planet Earth simply cannot be ignored. Much like on Earth, it would take 385 days for Kepler 452b to orbit around its sun-like star. So just add another 20 days to your calendar. That doesn't sound too bad. The star that lights up this planet is about 1.5 billion years older than our sun, and 20% more luminous, which could be quite promising. What's not so promising, though, is the fact that it's almost 1,400 light years away from Earth. Dr. John Jenkins from NASA's Ames Research Center said that it's awe-spiring to consider that the planet has spent 6 billion years in the habitable zone of its star, much longer than Earth. It's a substantial opportunity for life to arise, should they find that all the necessary ingredients for life exist on the planet. Say we actually find a way to get to the exoplanet, what would life on Kepler 452b be like? Since the planet has a much larger mass than Earth, gravity can be much stronger than what you feel on Earth. Dr. Jenkins added that, as for light, it would be much brighter and a great environment for Earth plants to grow. He and members of the Discovery team put together an artist's concept of what they imagined Kepler 452b would be like, and they're of the opinion that the planet could be going through a greenhouse effect, similar to the one that changed Venus. Though we're still unaware of its surface, it's safe to assume for now that owing to its size, it's rocky and bound to have some active volcanoes and hopefully water. Perhaps not oceans of water, but more like residual bodies of water that's highly concentrated in minerals. For now, the models of the planet seem to paint a very pretty and hopeful picture for the near future, and only further investigation and data would be able to tell us if it really is the new Earth. Until then, we might have to work out how to get there in the first place. Not everyone seems to be convinced that an exoplanet lying more than 1,000 light years away could potentially be the next Earth, and understandably so. It takes a lot for a planet to be considered good enough to not only hold life, 
but it must also be able to sustain it. While there is a lot of interest and buzz among scientists and researchers about the possibilities these exoplanets bring, there are also many harsh critics. Some non-believers in the whole Earth 2.0 search say that it's premature to assume or even compare other planets, specifically the newly discovered exoplanets to our planet Earth. As we already established, there are many key factors that need to be present in order for a planet to be considered habitable. And assuming that because a planet may seem to have a similar atmosphere or liquid ocean the way the Earth does, doesn't necessarily qualify to be a good place for life to thrive. We are only bound by our own biases and what we know of life on Earth. In searching for the possibility of life among the exoplanets, we may actually completely overlook planets within the galaxy much closer to Earth, orbiting the same satellite that could actually be much better candidates and set much more achievable goals rather than an exoplanet lying thousands of light years away. Despite what seems to be a rather harsh criticism of the findings on these exoplanets, it doesn't seem so crazy to think that all these findings point towards a possibility in the future. Centuries ago, if you said mankind would reach the moon and set foot on the bright satellite, they would have called you crazy too. Kepler 452b may very well be first in line to replace Earth when it comes to the exoplanets, but it's certainly not the only exoplanet that has shown immense potential to hold life. It's almost every other week now that scientists and researchers are discovering new exoplanets, or rather, older exoplanets that have been hidden and shrouded in dust particles and layers upon layers of gaseous material for years. And with newer telescopes, like the newly launched James Webb Telescope, we can expect to be seeing so much more. There are some exoplanets that are also showing characteristics necessary for holding life, and are definitely worthy contenders. Gliese 667cc comes in at 4.5 times the size of the Earth, lying just 22 light years away, and orbits a red dwarf star that is considerably cooler than the Sun, and is thought to lie in the habitable zone. In 2015, Kepler 442b was found and caused quite the stir among scientists, as they believe it may be receiving enough sunlight to sustain a large biosphere. The major drawback though, just like Kepler 452b, it's 1,194 light years away from Earth. Similarly, Kepler 62f, Kepler 186f, and Kepler 69c all show promising signs, but each come with their drawbacks as well. As for now, it looks like the hunt for Earth 2.0 is still on, and we will probably continue until we can find a planet that has everything just right for holding life, just like our beloved Mother Earth. What do you think about Kepler 452b, and do you think it could someday replace Earth? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.